And before you start, guys, as usual, don't forget if you like it, it will help me. Create all those tutorials every day only for you, and of course, subscribe for more. Let's get started. Step number one, as usual, kill Moon Lord boss. Kill this guy. Of course, kill Moon Lord. It is long story, so you must kill several another bosses. After that, kill Moon Lord itself. It is also consume a lot of time. It is very difficult boss, and so on and so on. Pay attention on that. So be careful, nasty, and make this job. After that. You must go in uh, underworld or in hallowed biome. I personally prefer go in the uh, underworld simply because I not find hallowed biome in my world at this moment. Use profanity core and summon the profanities, providence or profanity god. If you not want to kill this boss for no reason. Maybe. Uh, ah, also on my channel you find tutorial how to kill this go uh, goddess without any problems. Anyway, this goddess drop the rune of course. Easy. Remember, rune of course. But also you can uh, obtain this item without killing this huge boss. For that, uh, pay attention on new mobs which uh, arrive in the underworld after you kill Moon Lord boss. It is uh, this huge, strange uh, monster. Uh, Scorn Eater. Kill the Scorn Eater. And all this guy drop Unholy Essence. You need only 14 pieces of Unholy Essence. Second option, it is another mobs. It is flying thing with small wings, as you can see, and uh, fire here. Easy. After that, okay, uh, so collect 20 pieces of limited aura, which give Moon Lord 40 Holy Essence from these mobs, 5 solar fragment from solar tower, uh, and ancient manipulator from uh, lunatic cultist boss. After that, spend all this material, place ancient manipulator, stay near, uh, use uh, luminate bar and craft luminate bar from luminate ore. Now, spend all these resources, craft rune of course. Now, prepare your flying mount and go up. Here's the deal. Mm, under surface, we have uh, sky layer, under and above sky layer, we have space layer. So go as upper as you can before you reach the space. See, it's a space here. Yay! <laughs> now, use your rune of course here, press left mouse button in the air, and you summon new boss. It is Storm Weaver, another worm. Oh my god! It's so beautiful. All this energy effect. Yes. Wait a second. Why are you so powerful? I cannot normally attack this creature. Seriously? Wait a second. Son of a... Okay, you cannot uh, uh, properly attack uh, creature. At first time, pay attention on the tail. See this glow segment. This glow segment now have normal damage. No normal defense. Now we can attack this creature properly. Yes. Hello, creature, where are you? Sanava! Wait a second, please. <laughs> anyway, this creature have a lot of uh, health, and I believe it is not a good weapon for this creature. The, maybe you can find more powerful than the need weapon, I don't know. Anyway, in stage number two, this guy can make a different strange effect. A ram in you with physical attack and so on. Cool. The main part from this boss, it is armored shell. This item required for another bosses. So simply always find and use this stuff. Uh -huh. Storm Weaver. No, uh -huh. lazy storm dragon. So a lot of cool weapon as usual. Oh my god. 
I am so powerful, I am so proud. Wait a second. In the video description you'll find it rolls for another calamity bosses, so pay attention to that. Thank for watching, like, comment, subscribe, please, and with you, see you soon. Also in the video description you'll find another, uh, also I publish video every Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday here, so everything for you guys. Wow. Exodium cluster, wow.